Today we're going to continue the gauntlet of benchmarks for the Samsung Galaxy S22. Now as a reminder I have the Snapdragon variant here and in today's video we're going to be running the Geekbench 5 benchmarks. Since launch the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 chipset has received a lot of criticism and I think since the chips are so poorly optimized, either Samsung will be able to optimize this in a future update to improve performance, or possibly the developer community will be able to step in and improve both the performance and thermals of the Snapdragon chipset. So to get a baseline of what we're working with here, Today we're going to do the Geekbench 5. So we're going to run the CPU benchmark here. So in the CPU benchmark, we were able to get a single core score of 1216, and the Snapdragon Galaxy S22 was able to reach a multi-core score of 3402. And compare them to other devices. Here are the individual test scores. Now we're going to run the Compute Benchmark in Geekbench 5. 
first on the open CL option. CL, we were able to get a score of 5,881, which we can see compared to other devices. And we have our individual scores here. And now we are going to rerun the compute benchmarks for the Snapdragon Galaxy S22 using Geekbench 5, except this time we are switching over to Vulkan. This time we were able to get a compute benchmark score in Geekbench 5 using the Vulcan drivers. We got a score of 6039. We cannot compare anything right now, but we can take a look at those individual scores. So now that we have recorded the benchmark scores for Geekbench 5 on the base 
model of the Samsung Galaxy S22. We can use these to compare what the scores will be in the future. Again, whether it is an update to Samsung's One UI firmware, maybe it's a custom kernel or even a beta graphic driver that we find on XDA. I look forward to comparing these benchmark scores to what we can get on this device in the future.